Hi everyone and welcome to today's episode of Marvellous Maths. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of multiplication, which is great because I know that my class 1Q at Lowbrook did multiplication just before we went into lockdown and I'm not sure that we fully grasped it so it's great that we now have the chance to recap. So let's start off by warming up our brains before we move on to a little bit of multiplication today. Okay, are we ready for our flashback four of the day? Here we go then. Pause your video while you have a go at these four flashback four questions. So I hope you managed So I hope you managed to use all of the things we've learnt previously to answer these questions. Let's have a quick look at the answers. So we'll start with our column addition over here. Let's start off by labelling the columns. We've got our tens column and our ones column. And we always start with the ones column. So we've got eight in our head and six on our fingers. And because we're adding, we're going to count on. We're going to count forward. So eight in my head, six on my fingers and count with me. Ready, stop, stop, go. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So in our ones column, our answer is 14. Now I can't put the 10 of my 14 in my ones column, so I need to carry it underneath my tens column. So here I've got 14. Okay, so now I move on to my tens column then. Seven in my head and three on my fingers and I'm going to count on. Are we ready? Stop, stop, go. Eight, nine, ten. So the answer in my tens column is ten, but we've forgotten the ten that we carried from our ones column. So we need to add one more. So now we've got eleven. So I put the one from my eleven in the tens column, and then I can carry my ten across into the hundreds column. So seven, add three, add the one that I carried, is 11. Now I've got nothing in my hundreds column, so I just need to add my one that I've carried here. So my answer to 78 as 36 is 114. Good job if you got that one right, that was tricky. Okay, let's move on to our subtraction then. So I'll start off by labelling my columns. I've got my hundreds, my tens, and my ones. So I start with my ones column. But we've got a problem because my counting number is bigger than my starting number and that's a problem when we're taking away or subtracting. So I'm going to have to knock next door and I'm going to take one from my tens column. What's one less than five? Four, well done. So four goes in my tens column and I can carry my one into my um, ones column there. So now I've got 12, take away four. We can do that, 12 in my head and four on my fingers and count back with me. Ready, stop, stop, go. 11, 10, nine, eight. So my answer in my ones column is eight. Awesome, well done. Okay, we can move on to our tens column now. So we've got four, take away eight. Oh, hang on, we've got a problem again. My counting number is bigger than my starting number. So that's an issue when we're taking away. So I'm going to go next door again and take this one. Now, there's only one there, so that's now going to become zero. And I can carry my 100 into my tens column. So now I've got 14, take away eight. We can do that. 14 in my head, eight on my fingers. Get ready to count back with me. Ready, stop, stop, go. 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. So my answer is 68. Awesome job if you managed to get that one correct. So now we're moving on to our doubling and our halving that we did in my last couple of videos with you. So we can use our doubling ladybird to double 54 and our halving butterfly to halve 32. I hope you remembered to use your lines and your dots like your rods and your cubes to double and to then halve. So double 54 is, are we ready? 108 and half of 32 is 
16. Super job if you got 108 and 16 using your knowledge of doubling and halving from last time. Well done. So then, as I said before, we are going to be practicing today multiplying numbers. So our learning intention is can I understand and use methods to multiply numbers? And we're going to practice using repeated addition and using arrays to help us with multiplication. So here's just a little task for you then. I've put a sign on the screen. I'd like you to pause the video and write all of the words that that sign makes you think of. Could be words, could be phrases, write them down, off you go. I didn't get too many. The two main ones that I thought of were multiply and times because that is the times sign or the multiplication sign. But I also thought of two more things that I would like you to remember after today's lesson. This sign, whenever you see it, you could say groups of or lots of. Let me show you what I mean. Here we've got a number sentence. Now, if I try to read that number sentence using the keywords from my last screen, I might say three times five because that cross, that X means times. It means to multiply. Or I might say three lots of five. And I can write that as repeated addition, which looks like this. We've got three, one, two, three, lots of five. Five, add five, add five. Now I can use pictures to help show what that looks like. I've got five apples, add five apples, add five apples. I've got one, two, three, lots of five, because there's five in each picture. And now that I've got those pictures, I can count them all up to find out what the answer to three times five is, or three lots of five. Let's count all of the apples together. I think we can do this by using our knowledge of counting in fives. So are we ready? We're gonna count in fives. Stop, stop, go. Five, 10, 15. So three times five, or three lots of five, is 15. Let's have a look at another example then. So I've got six times four. I could write that out as a repeated addition, which would look like this. I've got four, add four, add four, add four, add four, add four. And if I count all my fours up, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six lots of four. Now let's have a look at that using pictures. In each picture, I've got four footballs because we're looking for six times four, six lots of four. Now we could add all of these fours up, four in my head, four on my fingers and count on, five, six, seven, eight, add another four, nine, 10, 11, 12, add another four, 13, 14, 15, 16, add another four, 17, 18, 19, 20, and one more four, 21, 22, 23, 24. Or I could count all of my footballs up. Now I'm not too confident with counting in fours, so this time I am going to count each football rather than counting in fours, because I'm not very confident with that. So count the footballs with me, ready, stop, stop, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So my answer to six times four, or six lots of four is 24. And I found that using repeated addition or also using my pictures to help me. So now you know that, I'd like you to pause the video while you write out these problems as repeated addition. 
Even better if you manage to also find your answer using repeated addition. Pause the video while you have a go. Should we have a look then? Let's do the first one. So we had three, lots of three. So I've written out three, three times. One, two, three. So now I can use my addition. I'm gonna start with three and add on three more. Four, five, six. Add on another three. Seven, eight, nine. So three times three equals nine. And I can check that using my pictures. I've got three teddy bears. Four, five, six teddy bears seven, eight, nine teddy bears. So three times three is nine. Well done if you got that. Let's have a look at the next one then. Seven times two, seven lots of two. So I'm going to write out two, seven times. Two, add two, add two, add two, add two, add two, add two. And I've also used pairs of socks to help me. Now, we could use repeated addition to help us with this. We add on two each time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then to check it, we can count in twos our pairs of socks. Are we ready? Counting twos, stop, stop, go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, 12, 14. So seven times two is 14. Let's have a look at the next one. Five times four is the same as five lots of four. One, two, three, four, five. So we can add them up. Starting with four, we count on four, five, six, seven, eight, and another four. 9, 10, 11, 12, and another 4, 13, 14, 15, 16, and our fifth lot of 4, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome job, so 5 times 4 is 20, and we can check that by counting our crayons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So five lots of four is 20. Well done if you managed to write out that repeated addition correctly and even better if you managed to reach the answer 20. Okay, our final one then, four times six, four lots of six. So I've written out six four times. Six, add six, add six, add six. And I've got some dice down here to help us. So this is going to be tricky now. Are we ready? Let's switch our brains on. So we're going to start with six and we're going to count on six more. Ready? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And another six. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And one more lot of six. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So four lots of six is 24. Well done if you got all of those repeated addition questions correct. So now we've completed repeated addition. If you need to have a quick break, now's a great time to pause the video and go and grab yourself a drink and have a break and come back and resume the lesson when you're feeling refreshed. If you're happy to carry on, keep playing the video now. So let's have a look at the next part of our lesson, which is using arrays. Now here's a multiplication question that we just answered. Three times three, which we wrote out as a repeated addition question. Three, add three, add three. And we found the answer was nine. Well done if you remembered. Now we can use arrays to show this, which is another way of using pictures. Let me show you what I mean. Here I've got some spots. I've got three, one, two, three, columns of three, one, two, three spots. I've got three times 
three. Or three, add three, add three. So can you see how this array here shows this number sentence and also this number sentence all in one place? We've got three lots of three. And then we can count up our spots to find our answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three times three is nine. Let's have a look at another one. Oh, this is a big one. Okay, so I've got five lots of seven or five times seven. So we look at my first number here, which is five, and I'm going to have five groups. One, two, three, four, five. Five columns, five lots of how many? Seven. So there should be seven in every group. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now to find five times seven, we can count up all my triangles. But this could take a long time and it also could be quite tricky because there's so many of them. But we can count in fives and we know that there's five in every row. So let's count in fives, count them all up. Are we ready? Stop, stop, go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So five times seven, five lots of seven is 35. And I used my array to show that. So now it's your turn to have a go at using arrays to solve some multiplication problems. Remember, the first number in your number sentence is how many groups of, how many lots of. And then your second number in your number sentence is how many in each group, in each column. So that's your number that goes down the side. Pause the video while you draw arrays and solve each of these multiplication problems. Did you manage it guys? Let's have a look. Here we go. So let's start with four times three. I've got four, one, two, three, four, lots of three. One, two, three. So I can count them all up to find my answer. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So four times three is 12. Let's move on to this one then. We've got six times two. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Lots of two. One, two, one, two, all the way across. Now I could count these all up individually, but I know that you can count in twos. So let's count up each pair of squares as we go across. Ready, stop, stop, go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So six times two is also 12, fantastic. So now we can move on to this one now, the numbers are getting bigger and this is where it gets tricky because we can make little mistakes. So we've got seven lots of four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lots of one, two, three, Four. Now I'm not very good at counting in four, so I'm going to count up each semicircle individually. Can you count with me? Ready, stop, stop, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So seven lots of four is 28. That one was tricky. Well done if you got that one right. Okay, so now we're moving on to 10 lots of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lots of one, two, three. Now we can count in tens, so we don't need to count up all of the um, ovals here. We can count each row in tens. Are we ready? Stop, stop, go. 10, 20, 30. So three times 10 is 30, or 10 times three, sorry, but that's the same thing. 10 times three or three times 10 is 
30. Okay then, on to seven, lots of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lots of one, two, three. Seven groups of three. Let's count them up. Ready, stop, stop, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one. So seven times three is twenty one. Okay then, on to our last one then. We've got five, lots of five. So we've got five going across. One, two, three, four, five, and five going down. One, two, three, four, five. Five groups of five, five lots of five. Now we don't need to count up each triangle on this one because we can count up in fives. So are we ready? Count in fives with me. Stop, stop, go. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25. So 5 times 5 is 25. I am super impressed if you manage to draw arrays and solve the, the problem for each of these questions. So I'm hoping that that's a nice little refresher for you all on how we do multiplication using repeated addition and also using arrays. Whichever method works best for you is fantastic. So next time with me in Marvellous Maths, we're going to use what we've done today to solve some multiplication word problems. So if you're not too sure on multiplication, make sure you have a practice between now and next time with me. Look out for Miss Wetherill's Marvellous Maths video on Monday. Have have a great weekend, stay safe and I'll see you really soon. Bye guys!